Hi everyone, this is Michael from TouchPie.com with a quick demonstration and review on an application for the iPad. The app is called Stream to Me, a very handy application that allows you to enjoy your music or video files in a wide variety of formats without the need to pre-convert them for the iPad format. Stream to Me works by streaming music or video content that you have in your computer over Wi-Fi or 3G, allowing you to enjoy your content while in real time the application converts these files. Basically, if you happen to have a video file that's natively not able to be played on the iPad, let's say like an MKV file, stream to me would allow you to view the file without the need to convert these files first. Okay, so how do we start? The first thing you need to do is to download an application from their website called serve to me which is free of charge. It'll run on Windows or Mac OS X, install it in your computer, assign the folders or files that you're looking to stream over to your iPad, and that's it. So now let's take a look at the application. I'm here at the home screen and as you can see my MacBook Pro has been detected, but manually the application allows me to input the IP address and the port, just in case I need to manually locate my server. Now I have some video files here with the corresponding thumbnail, which is a great touch when you're looking for these files. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And great, now we're successfully streaming from our computer to our iPad. And just for testing, I want to be able to stop this and forward. And just so we'll see how well the application picks up the stream. And again, no problems. And stop it and move it back. Again, just to perform the same test. Okay, now let's say that you are in the middle of this film watching this cute little woodpecker and uh, you decide you want to quit the application. And later on, you want to continue watching this. You can go back to the application and you get prompted with continue or cancel. We want to hit continue and let's see where it takes us. And there's our little bird just right where we left him. Feeding away at his bird feeder. All right, let's go back to the original folder that we had all those bird files. Let's go here and to load up this MOV file just to show you how well the application is able to pick up different file format. And that's another cute little bird. Okay, hopefully you've seen some good examples here of how the application works and how quickly things are picked up and performances on this application. Now let's quickly move back and see if we can do the same thing with some MP3 files. Now I'm back at the home screen and I have a folder with some MP3 files to stream. Here you notice I don't have any thumbnails because I don't have any artwork assigned to them. Okay, now let's perform the same test. We're going to stop, move the file forward. And stop again. And move it back once more time. And let it play. Now I know it looks like we're just playing with the application, moving it forward and back, but I really think this is a great way of showing you how quickly and how great the application performs. Now if you're looking to stream a lot of MP3 with this application, one of the coolest features that's going to be very helpful to you is the shuffle mode. Let's demonstrate that right now. I'm going to take the same file. And we're going to forward. Just to quick things up a bit. Well, that was the application review for stream to me an app that's available in the App Store right now. And if you would like to see more reviews like that, then continue to subscribe to this channel. 
And don't forget to visit our website, that's touchpy.com, for more application reviews for the iPad. 